Howdy folks, today we're going to take a look at using Scepter to track ADSB position reports coming off of aircraft in our area. First thing you'll see here is we have a USRP connected to Scepter and we opened up the default config and tuned it to 1090 megahertz. That's all I've done. Uh, the rest of the trip is going to be displayed here on the video. We need to turn some gain on because we don't see any of the signals. So what I like to do for that is come down here to the sap sample saturation bar and you know you can crank that until you get around neg 12 neg 14 give her a little bit more that's plenty auto scale zoom in we've got some pulses everything's looking good let's go ahead and open up a new workspace here we can rename this one if we want. We can name it map. We're going to want to open up the map display. So we've got the map centered up on Oklahoma here. Go over to our map settings. This is where we could change the type of map background if we wanted. Also, all these maps are offline. They're saved to the computer. You don't have to have any internet connection to access any of uh, the data that you see here and you can see they're pretty detailed maps all right here comes the hard part we're going to get some modes tracks going come over here drop down modes since i don't i'm bringing it in on the full bandwidth i click input one and i've got planes i've got an envoy plane i got a little training plane out of sundance and this sk guy i'm not sure who that is if i want i can come over to the modes tab and I can actually change what is being displayed next to these icons. So for me, I want to see the call. I want to see what their squawk in. And most importantly, I want to see what their altitude is. So we can see that. We can see he's squawking 1200. He's just out there doing some VFR flight. Envoy hasn't posted out what his squawk code is yet. If I select on a aircraft I can come over to the place marker and I can say show only that selected place mark leave the tracks or I can say show only the selected tracks for who I have selected and go back to show all you can click on an icon or leave all icons export the items to a KML if you so desire you can come back to the map and to your input you can drop down each one of these folders and see the track and the icon of the items on the screen. As we sit here, you'll see there's more and more planes that are showing up. Mostly up there in the higher altitudes. If I want to see the detailed data associated with each of these icons, of course I can hover over it. Or you can go into Mode S Data. Let's go ahead and drag this up here. And we're going to get a table of all that. So if we want to go to identification, there's all of our call signs and icky codes. And I'm going to stretch those out, make them look nice pretty. We could export it out to a CSV. But as they say, wait, there's more. If we wish, we can tune this down to 978. Go back to our map display. Drop down our UAT guy. See if we can get any uh, UAT hits. We know that because we can come in here and we can prefix any of their icons with UAT. You can also see if we're even getting any packets by displaying the UAT data. There's a chance that we're not going to see any UAT, but the capability is there. And if you're also interested in aviation type signals, there is a ACARS uh, decoder. So we can do ACARS. Uh, you'd have to tune to the appropriate channel, of course. And in the same fashion, but obviously not the same plane, uh, we have AIS data for ship tracking. So as you can see, Scepter has pretty good capability here to 
decode decode digital signals coming off the aircraft, interpret them, and map them. Hope you enjoyed this video. For any information, please contact info at 3db-labs.com.